Okay, these are the Garmin Vector 3s, and there are two problems with them. One of them is that the pedal doesn't spin as free as it should. Some people complain about that. This is the left pedal, and you see, yeah, it's a little bit tight. But Garmin says that this is because of the seals which are inside, which are waterproof, not only dustproof, and that's kind of normal. However, this is my left pedal, the healthy pedal. Now, the right pedal, and I'm coming to the second problem with Garmin, is that the right pedal constantly disconnects, and in my case, it doesn't spin as free, if you call it free, as a left pedal. Right now, when I have removed the battery casing, battery cap, and the uh, contact board, it spins, well, more or less free. There is a little bit of resistance because of, this, because of the seals, and I would accept that. But as soon as I reassemble that, and this was disassembled using the uh, uh, service Garmin Vector 3 service video by Garmin on the YouTube, official one. So, as soon as I reassemble that, if I take the pedal like this and then release it, it will stay like that. Uh, <clears throat> and it will take some, some, like, a little bit of effort to spin the spindle. Now, the reason for that is the following. The reason for that is the same reason why this pedal disconnects. This is the right pedal and it's constantly disconnecting. See this? There's a gap. And it shouldn't be there. And there's no way to get rid of it, at least here, probably in the factory, yes, but there's no way you can hammer this thing down or something like this. I guess maybe it's screwed in or something using some sort of a super special wrench that would go into these four holes. Or I do not know, but I'm not doing that because this is actually beyond the uh, normal, uh, how do you say, user maintenance or whatever. So, but the thing is, now, if you take the black casing as a reference point, now, this part, together with the spindle, is shifted to the left by the size of this gap, which is like a third, a quarter of a millimeter. The nut inside, which is connected to the spindle, is a quarter or a third of a millimeter deeper than it should be. As soon as I attach the contact board, which, using these two screws, is attached to this nut. You see those two holes? As soon as I do that, the bottom of this, the bottom of this, is gonna start rubbing against the plastic casing. And that will create that addiction, additional friction. And that will prevent my pedal to spin freely. And I'm gonna show that in a second. So, but that's the least of the problem. See, the thing is, again, we're taking the plastic casing as a reference point, so this whole metal thing is shifted to the left. I'm gonna put the contact board inside, and it is gonna be roughly half a or a third of a millimeter deeper than it needs to be. And then I'm gonna screw the battery cap, battery cap to the casing, and that means that the distance between these two are going to be larger by the size of this gap. And this actually is the reason why my right pedal constantly disconnecting. Because, see, I have tried applying this cork solution and it worked for one trainer old session, but today we went for a ride and my pedal was again disconnecting. And the reason for that is, I think, again, I think, is, see, there are four contacts here, or actually three contacts. Two in the sides and one in the middle. And all of them have to make contacts. Now, if my cork is too thick, then there's no way these little fellas are gonna reach these side contacts. Now, if my cork is too thin, it's going to be the, the opposite. So it has to be like some sort of a magical balance in between, and then any physical perturbation like shake, or, I mean, if you like kick your pedal or something like this, is going to, well, any, any, any disturbance is going to make your pedal disconnect. So, yeah. Okay, now I have reattached the uh, contact board. It is there. My cork thing is there, and guess what? 
it's not spinning. Like, not spinning at all. Well, it does. And it's sort of like... <laughs> yeah. It spins much harder than the left one. So, yeah. This is Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. Monday's holiday in Switzerland. So I guess I'm stuck with these at least until Tuesday. I really hope that somebody from Garmin sees this video and reacts until then, so that when I contact the uh, Swiss Garmin representatives, they probably will know about the problem. I don't know, probability of that is quite low, but still, there are chances. Thanks for watching. Garmin, please do something. Cheers.